Hey everyone, welcome to Hot Rodders. Uh, I'm trying to do like a little video series. And this video, before we start, it originally, it, some of the dialogue sounds a little bit weird, but that's because it originally started off as a how-to video. And then I realized a how-to video is kind of pointless when you're kind of trying to figure it out for yourself. Because me, for this video, I'd never put on a carburetor. I know how to pick a carburetor. I'd never like actually put it on. And never hooked up in the electrical system, that kind of stuff. And I figured like doing a how-to from that will be kind of dumb and pointless. You know, fooling people to have that I have some expertise that I don't actually have. So yeah, that's why some of the dialogue will sound a little bit canned. Some of it sounds a little pre-prepared because I was trying to write a script and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I decided I'd let this. I decided I'd let all you know this before we even started. That way, you know, it started off as something it shouldn't have been, but. It's now a show where I just kind of try to fix stuff in my car and I take you guys along for the ride. So we're figuring that together. So without further ado, let's start the video. things first, Skylark's ready to go. First, let's go over the kind of tools you're going to need. You need a socket wrench, you know, those ones. Of course, you're going to need your carburetor. Duh. And here, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, tuning the carburetor. I usually keep a set of these on my, uh, my keychain because my mom gave them to me. So let's get to it. There's no fuel filter in this thing. Oh my gosh, what did the guy before me do to this poor engine? Um, okay, so let's get started. Alright, so now that we're here, one of the things we want to take care of immediately is just labeling our lines so we remember where they at. I forgot a pen. <laughs> I'm already recording. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Stop it. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. I can hear you laughing at me from there. <laughs> Found the Sharpie. I can't believe my mom just laughed at me. There we go. Pull this off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, there is nothing hooked up to the choke. Okay, so there's no fuel filter. There's no, nothing hooked up to the choke. There's no vacuum secondary that's supposed to be attached to the transmission. There's none of this. There's supposed to be a, a nice thingy here. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know how to really react to this. Gasket. That's what I forgot to call it. Oh, that's wrong. Make sure you put your parts all in one place so you don't lose them. I've done that way too many times. There we go. Uh, oh wow, you are full of fuel. I don't know why you are. Let's put you right there. Ugh. Yeah, you know, I think I'll leave that on there. Oh boy, they're all the way up there. Great. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. So great, my GoPro just ran out of uh, ran out of space, so now I guess I'm doing the rest on my camcorder. Right, so let me catch you guys up to what happened so far. Things seems to be going doing good. Uh, I'm trying to wire up that, but right now I'm going to put everything else back in. That way, you know, it's all ready to go. Okay, right here I have the uh, PVC pipe that goes right here in the middle. It'd be pretty easy to find because it's probably the biggest pipe there. There we go. That's all snug. And then right here. I got the vacuum line. We just put that down. Ah, come on. Hard to do this in one hand. I really want to make sure you guys can see. Ah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
All right, let's bolt this thing down. So right here's the old carburetor. Used to be plugged in right here. There'll be a little nozzle right there. So basically what that is, it's attached to the power brakes. Forgot to say this earlier. And you unplug that, you unscrew the thing that's in it, you put it back in the new one, you plug it right back in, then you're set. It is currently 6 a.m. and I wanted to finish my car because I have work today and I want to borrow my dad's truck again so let's get started again. Hip hip hooray. See looking under the dash I was hoping for something easy right and but that's just not the case because look the guy before me he didn't wire up the choke and there's really nothing for me to figure out which one's the ignition wire. Now I gotta sort through. Now I gotta sort through all of that. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be fun. I'm actually kind of nervous to start it up because I generally don't have a good history with electrical wires and stuff like that. So here's to hopefully not blowing up my car. Let's do this. All right, so as you can see, engine's all ready to go. Uh, carburetor looks beautiful. The fuel filter is finally there, which is useful. The choke is actually wired up for once. Yeah, let's check it out, see how it starts. All right, so everything's all plugged in. Uh, I've never really done this switch before, so moment of truth. gosh I can't believe I did it <laughs> all right well uh, that's it for the video uh, <laughs> uh, I actually I really thought I couldn't do it and I find <laughs> wow <laughs> oh wow my neighbors must think I'm a psychopath I yelled really loud <laughs> I, I'm actually still pumped and I'm gonna probably be spending the whole day with this thing wow so yeah that's it you guys have a great day peace